Okay, 12.2, nets and surface area. Students will be able to draw two-dimensional models for three-dimensional figures and calculate surface areas of these figures. Um, I have over here what we call an isometric dot um, paper or isometric, isometric uh, dot graph. Let me just spell that for you. It's I-S-O-M-E-T-R-I-C, isometric paper. This paper helps us make uh, better sketches of three-dimensional figures. So, for example... Example one here says sketch a rectangular prism that is two units high. You could go two units right here and five units long. So then you could go down kind of at an angle five. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And remember it's still two units high, so you could fill that part in. And then it's three units wide, so you go three units the other way. And there you have a rectangular prism, and you've kind of drawn it accurately. All right, uh, for example number two here, um, the idea is to kind of take a look at these four nets and see if you could figure out which one would actually make a pyramid. Three of them do not. They, they don't work. They have overlapping parts, and then there's a hole somewhere in the, in the pyramid. And one of them does work. So I would say pause the video and see if you could figure out which one works. We did this activity in class with these guys. We actually cut these out, just kind of tried to experiment with them and see which one worked. And we uh, figured out which one does. So I would pause the video if you want to give it a try. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the answer. So uh, A doesn't work because these two parts end up overlapping. B doesn't work because these two parts end up overlapping. And C doesn't work because these two triangles end up overlapping. So D is the only one that works. When you fold it, it, these edges here line up with all the edges of the square, and it makes a square pyramid. Okay, let's go on to the last example here. Uh, before we do that, just a little definition. Surface area is the sum of the area of each face of a solid figure. So... What we could do is we could take a figure like this, like this triangle prism, and we could actually um, spread it out so that we could, we could see what the net of this thing would look like flattened out, and then we could find the area of that net. Well, I, I have some regular dot paper here. This is not isometric, but this dot paper will help us kind of just draw this image flat. Uh, the only thing is, in order to make it fit, you just need to know that one unit on here equals two centimeters. So I'm going to first, I'm going to start with this top part and it's 10 by 13 so I'm going to unravel that. So there's six and a half units here because it's 13 wide. And then the next part would be this bottom part and I would draw that like this. Let's see, it's 12 units, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then we could add in these triangles. Now this is the tricky part. If this is 12, and the hypotenuse is 13, we should recognize right away that that's a 5, 12, 13 triangle. So this is 5. And here, that would make two and a half when we unfold these triangles. And then lastly we have this back wall here and that would be five by ten so we'll let that go back two and a half. And there's what that figure is going to look like when we unfold it. Now if I wanted to find the area of all these things I'm going to label these all as different parts A, B, C, D, and E. And I'm just going to add these all together because I know the total surface area is going to equal A plus B plus C plus D plus E. And I'm just going to find the, the area of each one of these parts and then add it all together. Well, let's fill in some numbers here. Uh, this part A was 5 by 10. This was 5. This is 12. This is 13. This is 10. So A is 5 by 10, or 50. B is 10 by 12, or 120. C is 13 by 10, or 130. 
uh, D is a triangle, so it's one half base times height, so one half five times twelve, which I should just say is sixty, and that's the same thing with E here, one half of sixty. Well, half of sixty is thirty, and thirty, and that would make sixty. And I'm just going to add these all up. Sixty plus one thirty is one ninety. Plus another hundred is two ninety. Plus another twenty is three ten. Plus another fifty is three hundred sixty. So the total surface area here is three hundred centi three hundred sixty centimeters squared. And that's it for twelve point two.